This is a circle of fifths. It has many uses. For example, it can help us map standard key signatures by numbers of sharps and flats. It can also help us create chord progressions. Let's find out how. This is Music Corner Brev. I'm David Colma. So let's look at that circle of fifths again. If you ever learned a blues chord progression, you'll notice that its three chords are next to each other on the circle of fifths, with the key note in the middle. These are also three of the four chords used in the ubiquitous four chord progressions used in popular music. Watch Axis of Awesome make fun of them here. So what happens if we expand farther around the circle? If we go counterclockwise, we add a chord a whole step below the key note. This flat seven chord happens a lot. According to two theorists who did a corpus analysis, analysis of Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Songs of All Time, it's actually the fourth most common chord after 1, 4, and 5. A famous example is the huge vamp at the end of the Beatles' Hey Jude. After a standard song form, the Beatles and their assembled audience sing Na Na for four minutes over this repeated chord progression. 1, flat 7, 4, 1. If we go clockwise around the circle, we get a major chord a whole step above the keynote. This major 2 chord, which is often better described as 5 of 5, is also common. For example, in Earth Angel, originally recorded by the Penguins, the bridge begins toggling between 4 and 1, but then hits on major 2 before moving to 5, which sets up the return of the doo-wop progression verse, 1, 6, 4, 5. Now that I've shown you how to use the circle of fifths for chord progressions, keep going by adding flat 3, major 6, and more. But wait, before you go, please check out my Patreon page. I've given it an overhaul. Patrons now have behind-the-scenes access to me as I make Music Corner. For instance, if you sign up for $1 a month, you can read about my progress as I make each video, and talk with me on the patron-only feed. I firmly believe that music knowledge is for everyone, and your monetary support will make sure that I can continue making these free educational videos here on YouTube. Take the plunge and be my first patron. And even if you can't support me with money, know that I appreciate you watching and sharing Music Corner. Thanks for watching Music Corner Brev. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. What are some other ways you can think of creating chord progressions? And please support me and Music Corner on Patreon. I'll see you next week, music nerds. And remember, everything we do is music.